Today we're going to learn how to create a new note in Logos Bible Software version 4 and to import information into that note, therefore putting it into our library. Well, the first thing we want to do today is we want to go up and we want to click on File. And then under our section New, we want to choose Notes for a new note. We click New Note. You'll notice that it's titled Untitled Notes. Uh, and it's also the title of our tab here. We want to click in there and we're going to be copying chapter 1 of the Confession of Faith from 1689, Baptist Confession of Faith. Titled of the Holy Scriptures. You'll notice our name changes on the tab as well as the title of our note file. This is our container. This is our manila file folder. Inside here, we're going to place additional sheets, which are called notes, individual notes, inside our main note file, which is titled uh, Chapter 1 of the Holy Scriptures. So what we want to do here is we want to click create our first uh, sheet of paper in our manila folder, and we're going to say Add Note, and we're going to title it. Notice there's two sections here, Title and Content. We want to click on Title and call it Paragraph 1. And then we want to click in our content section, and our content section is saying, put something in me. Type in me, or go and find some information and paste in me. And that's what we're going to do today. We have a Microsoft Word document we're going to paste from. So we're going to find our Microsoft Word document, and here it is. And, it, and we want the section titled Chapter 1 of the Holy Scriptures. We're going to click our left mouse button right there at the beginning of it, hold it down, and we're going to drag it at an angle until we find all the text we want to copy. Then we right click inside of the selection or the blue area and we choose copy. Then we go up and we minimize Word and we go here to our section that says content. We're going to right click in that and we're going to choose paste. Now I want to do some editing since I pasted this in here. First thing I want to do is I've already got a chapter Titled, so I don't need that. I'm going to take care of that, delete it, and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put a blank line between the paragraph and the scripture references by clicking on the one and hitting enter. And then in Logos 4, inside your notes, to make uh, just regular text link to Bible text, you go and click on the end of the line at the very end there, and then you press the space bar. And you'll see that it causes it to be. Uh, changed over to Bible text hyperlinks. It's amazing. Wonderful. Saving you all this time of having to highlight them, find the reference, and go in and select it. All you got to do is click at the end of each line, press the space bar, and they are hyperlinked. And then, of course, you want to click in a blank area to seal that note. And uh, if you're connected uh, over the internet to uh, log off servers, then this note is uh, saved from now on. But chapter one of the Baptist Confession of Faith of 1689 has um, 32 chapters, and each chapter has a minimum of three paragraphs. This chapter one actually has 10 paragraphs. So I want to repeat this step 10 times. So the next thing I want to do after I've added paragraph one is I want to go and add me another sheet of paper that we're going to title. Notice you've got content and title. You want to click on title and I'm going to call it paragraph two. And then I'm going to click in my content section. Now my content section is sitting there waiting for me saying put some text in me. Do something. And so I'm going to go back to my Microsoft Word document. I'm going to find paragraph two and I'm going to left click. And I'm going to hold down my mouse button and I'm going to find all the text associated with paragraph 2. I'm going to right click in a selected area, a blue area, and I'm going to choose copy. And I'm going to come back to, I'm going to minimize Word. And I'm going to come back to our uh, the note file we just created called paragraph 2 and we're going to right click in it and choose paste. Then I want to do some editing in here. I want to bring that down. I want to just do some formatting, make it look the way that I like it to look. And then I want to go to the end of the single scripture reference here, 2 Timothy 2, 3.16, and I want to put my space bar right there, therefore to make it uh, link to a Bible verse. 
and then I want to click outside of the, the note file to seal it and that note file is now um, saved from now on. So I want to tell you about the importance of putting notes into Logos Bible Software 4. Uh, it's extremely important. You're creating your own custom uh, study Bible, study plans, you put your confessions of faith in here, you put your covenants, your catechisms, your canons, uh, you can put any note of anything you want to put in here. I mean, literally, if you wanted to, you could create your grocery list and put in here. But, of course, everything that you put in your note files is searchable. So whenever you do search results, anything that you've placed inside notes uh, will, all, will appear under a heading of my content. Uh, and that's it for today. Hope you enjoy.